Hey, good morning, good morning. Praise the Lord. Good morning, good morning, and good morning, and good morning. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend, and I pray that you got you in some good old fellowship. And I hope that you um, were with a body of believers this weekend. The significance of us getting together is needed in these times. But as we start our week, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready for that medicine. Today's prescription comes from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 22. And the Bible says a wise person went up against the city of warriors and brought down a secure fortress. A wise person went up against a city of warriors and brought down a secure fortress. I want to I want to use this scripture today. Now, I want us to think about this. There are some things in our life. That we want to change, we want to get better. Hopefully, this is the case. Everybody should be wanting to get better. Some things um, that we want to change. Some We just want to be the better us in Christ. As a believer, we should be striving to be perfected. Because as coming to Christ, he's shown us, man, we all got some work. We all under construction. We all should be rolling into surgery. And I want us to really think about that because as we understand this, as we know this, but yet it still seems to be a struggle with us getting better, us changing us being delivered us moving forward or progressing it still seems to be a challenge it still seems to be an obstacle or it seems like we are not moving in the manner that we know we should be moving and i want us with this with this thought today to really think about this for a second what if the way you're approaching it is the wrong way to approach it in regards to change, in regards to uh, progressing, moving forward, uh, getting over some things, allowing that to be evident in your life. What if you're going about it the wrong way? What if you're, the way you're going at it is not the way that God is calling you to go at it? And let me tell you what I mean by that. The Bible here says a wise person went up against a city of warriors and brought down a secure fortress. When you look at this scripture, something should be pointed out. A wise person going up against a city of warriors. Hold up. That shouldn't even that shouldn't even happen. If you got somebody who's wise and you got somebody who's a warrior, Easily to understand that a warrior should be defeating those that are wise. But yet, when we look at the ending of this proverb, it says the wise person is the ones who brought down the secure fortress. It's a whole different way about doing things. It's a whole different approach. And I'm telling you, sometimes the reason why we don't see us progressing in the Lord or seeing the change that we know that God is calling is because our approach is wrong. The way we're going about it is wrong. And sometimes this is what God is trying to communicate because we keep going about it thinking we're going to get new results. Like it don't work like that. The approach is, is significant. It's important. And I want to break that down because I want you to ask yourself, how are you approaching the better you in Christ? How are you approaching the change in Christ? How are you approaching you being delivered, you being better, you progressing or moving forward? How are you approaching that? How are you approaching that? Because that in itself could be the reason why you're not seeing any progression. Your approach is wrong. Your approach is wrong. You can't approach 
Christ being new creature with old habits, old ways. You can't pour new wine in old wine skins. Then expect for a breakthrough. It don't work like that. So how, how should we approach it? How should we approach it? How should I go about it? I'm glad you asked. For our morning medicine this morning, I want us to think of approaching it in this manner. We have been accustomed to approaching it by our own strength. See, when you think about a warrior, a warrior uses its own abilities. And based on its abilities, it thinks it can overcome. It's by their own strength. It's about, hey, I think I can overpower this. And sometimes that's how we treat things. That we treat uh, the addictions that we are addicted to. We, we treat the things that we uh, are struggling with. We think we can overpower it by our own might. This is why oftentimes we don't want any help because we say, you know what? I got it because we're so accustomed to doing things by our own strength, doing things by our own might or us throwing more brutality at it. You know what? I just got to do. I just got to do more love like this. I just got to put more of me. I got to do it. And we approach it with that mentality. Man, by my strength, man, I got to do it. I got to figure all this thing out. I got it. And it it's always me at the focus. Me trying to worry it, warrior that thing down. Only to see that it's not breaking down that secure fortress. Me adding more manpower to it. Me adding more of my strength to it. It's only making that fortress more secure. Because the very reason of how I got in this predicament is by my own strength, is by my way of thinking, is by my own understanding. And I try to do this by, you know what? I, I just got to work harder. And what does working harder get you? Sometimes we even approach our parenting like that. I just got to get them more gifts. A marriage. I got to get my spouse more gifts and then they'll pre. No, no. See, you're missing. You're trying to buy love and love can't be bought. So, so, so then how? Notice that the approach was the Bible calls a wise person, not the warrior. The wise person was able to bring down a fortress, not the warrior. A wise person was able to bring down the fortress and not the warrior. The wise person was able to defeat that which of the warrior and its secure fortress. And I want to use this today in this manner for us to think like this. I want you to think of a wise person is not one of thinking of all brute bodybuilder, all that of raw strength. No, no, no. The wise person focus was of the mind. Don't miss that. A wise person, I want you to think about with this proverb today, of the mind. But a warrior uses brute strength. So what am I saying here for our morning medicine? Our approach should first be the renewing of our minds. Our first approach should not be trying to utilize it with more of my strength. Utilizing it with more of my ability. Me trying to put more raw strength into this because you know what, if I put more of this, then I can get the outcome. But yet, I'm never reaching that outcome. Because the battle first starts in your mind. 
And sometimes we approach it not from our minds being renewed. We try to approach it by us just using our raw strength to change these habits we've been accustomed to having. We try to use our raw strength to fix our marriage. We try to use our raw strength to be a parent, a brother, a sister, or my job, or this, or that, or that, or this. Whatever the case may be, I try to use my own raw strength. I try to use my raw strength to get over this anger or unforgiveness. Man, it doesn't work like that. That raw strength doesn't have the capability to bring down a secure fortress. It will only make it more secure. But what God is illustrating here is our approach. We've been accustomed with our raw strength, but we got to change the approach. And what's the approach, man? We got to first let it start with our minds. That's why the Bible says in Romans chapter 12, in a view, in the view of God's mercy, in the view of it, let me turn it real quick. In a view of God's mercy, I urge you to present your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true worship. Notice verse two is key. Do not, do not be conformed to this age. Or some translations say, do not do, be no longer conformed to the patterns of this world. See, that pattern is what we've been accustomed to of always going by our raw strength to figure things out, to go about things, to de be delivered to this or that. But God says, no, do not long, do no longer conform to that pattern. That's not the approach I'm calling you to, uh, to approach it with. The approach I'm calling you to begin with, as the Bible says this, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's where the battle first starts. My approach cannot be with raw strength. My approach should be allowing God to renew my mind or my thinking pattern. Old habits I can't defeat through raw strength. I got to defeat it through the Lord renewing my thinking pattern. How I approach it with my thoughts. See, my thought of why I should not forgive, that's the problem. Not you trying to draw your raw strength and you got to force your church felt to try to forgive them. You'll never forgive them. You'll never be able to progress forward. But what you have to allow God to do is renew your mind. Not on the basis of them, but on the basis of him. He has to renew your whole pattern of thinking of how you got to a place where you feel like you can't even forgive anybody. Or to even allow renew your mind so you can allow the healing to start happening. See, the first thing is with our minds. That's the wisdom. A wise person has the right mind. So in other words, the reason why they're able to bring down a secure fortress why? Because they've allowed Lord to renew their mind. They're able to discern the areas of where God says, I want to focus on. They're able to get out of the maze. You can't get out of the maze trying to break down the bushes. The wise person knows the route through the maze. And that's why it starts with our mind. God says, if you want to make your marriage, you want me to get your marriage better, let me help you renew your mind in some of the ways you, you, you come about a marriage, the way you come about husband, the way you come about being a wife. How about the way you come about being a parent? How about the way you handle issues? The way you handle predicaments? Let me renew your mind of your comfort zones. Because you've been comforted by that thing for so long, you actually think it's comfortable for you. But God says, see, you're using raw strength because raw strength will always point you to some things that I don't call comfort for you. For the Lord said, come to me and I will give you rest. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. 
And this is why God says, I have to renew your mind so you can, I can help untangle that which you keep running to. So you can actually be renewed in your mind to see why you should not be running to it. It first starts with your mind. And that's what God says he first wants to renew. If we allow him to renew our mind, it'll work this heart. And as it works his heart, it'll manifest out of our life. Our approach should not be with raw strength. Our approach should be through allowing God to renew our minds. Ask yourself today when you're at your job, when you find yourself in a place or you find yourself responding in a manner that's not like God, allow God to bring you back and work through your thoughts. Even try to pray, pray before you explode and allow God to unravel your thoughts. And as he unravels your thoughts, watch he works on the heart. But we got to fix our approach. Our approach can't be trying to be a warrior and try to warrior this thing out. No, allow God to renew our minds to help change our hearts to perfect our lives. This is your morning medicine. You got to start with our minds. Change your approach. God bless you all.